Hi, this is Patrick, the new guy with EBR, and today we're going to be looking at an e-bike from a new manufacturer, Denago. The model is the City Model 1 with a punchy motor, terrific range, and really solid brakes. It sits in that very competitive $1,000 to $2,000 price tier, and we're going to go through our testing to show you why it's such a great bike. Denago is a company new to the e-bike market, but they come with an experienced staff. This is a bike made by cyclists for cyclists. It begins with a powerful 500 watt brushless geared hub motor. This thing reminds you of just how much fun being a cyclist is. The City Model 1 offers terrific acceleration and is a class 3 e-bike that can actually hit its maximum speed of 28 miles per hour. It has terrific range thanks to its 653 watt hour battery. It has terrific hydraulic disc brakes and a seven speed Shimano Tourney drivetrain. For a complete rundown on all the specs, you can find that in our written review for which there is a link in our video description down below. First up in our testing is our brake test. For this, we take a bike up to 20 miles per hour three different times and see how quickly we can stop safely. The idea is to average these different results and find out just how quickly a bike can stop while leaving the rider in good control. So the stoppers on the City Model 1 are from Zoom and they feature hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors. Our test result came in at 20 feet, five inches, a very respectable result. What we liked is the power, the overall power of the brakes, as well as the modulation. One of the big things to remain, to having a sense of remaining in control is that ability to modulate just how hard you are braking. With our range test, we want to get a sense of the battery's real world capabilities. So we do two rounds of a circuit, first in our maximum assist level, and then a second one in the minimum assist level to see just what this bike can do. Let's take a look at our results. So the Denago City Model 1 has a 500 watt motor and a 653 watt hour battery. In our testing, we got between 33 and 51 miles of range. Now, because the bike is so quick and holds speed so well in our PAS5 result, we actually had to back off a little bit just to be more polite to other users on the bike path. We found that this bike holds speed well and has the ability to accelerate up to whatever PAS level you choose. Next up is our circuit test. We took the Denago City Model 1 out to EBR's circuit, which is a one mile loop with four right hand turns and a small hill that rises 30 feet. We do six passes, each of the five pedal assist levels plus one circuit with no pedal assist at all. The idea is to get a feel for the bike's overall acceleration, its ability to hold speed, and just what the bike feels like as we ride it. Okay, so how did the Denago City Model 1 do? Out on our circuit, my first lap was with no pedal assist at all, and I got an average speed of 11 and a half miles per hour. I was going fairly easy. When I switched to PAS1, there was an immediate jump to 16 miles per hour. Very often with these bikes, we won't see much assistance at, at level one, but this bike really impressed us. From there, each successive PAS level jumped about two miles per hour. At our top speed, over 22 miles per hour, we actually backed off some because the bike was going so quickly. I would stop pedaling about a half a block before each of the turns because I didn't want to go roaring through them. Overall, we found the City Model 1 to be a terrific performer. Acceleration was firm without being head snapping. 
Frankly, in my experience, while each of the different PAS levels offered really solid performance, my personal preference was for PAS 4. I didn't feel like I needed PAS 5 on all that many occasions. The bike handled great, uh, and actually when we let a little bit of air out of the tires to soften the ride some, we found it handled even better. Okay, on to the cockpit. We begin with the grips, which are nice rubber lock-ons with the little wings that help support the heel of your hand. There's a thumb throttle. Uh, in my experience, it didn't really modulate. It was pretty binary, just on or off. Uh, that's something to be aware of for some riders, particularly lighter riders. Um, the assist level switch uh, sits next to that. There's also a bell, and the zoom levers have a nice cast feel to them and have uh, an off switch uh, for the motor. The one thing in the cockpit I wasn't wild about was the Shimano Tourney lever. It's a thumb shifter that causes you, that asks you uh, to lift your thumb over the bar in order to make downshifts, but fortunately isn't like a traditional thumb shifter in that there's a button to release the mechanism for making upshifts. At least that much is better than what we were dealing with years ago. The display is an LCD that can be read in motion, sits in the middle of the bar, which makes it easier to see at a glance. You can see what your current speed is, what the battery level is, and the PAS level all very easily. Moving on, one of the notable things about this bike is that it has an adjustable stem, which will help many different riders fit on this bike. To their credit, Denago offers this bike in three different frames. Two traditional, a small medium, and a large extra large, as well as one step-through model. It's most unusual to see three different sizes in a bike at this price point. We like the drivetrain. Honestly, seven speeds sometimes can be a little limiting, but this motor is so powerful that there were occasions where I was able to climb small hills in the seventh gear. That was a pleasant surprise. The saddle is a nice uh, wide and fairly firm saddle, very comfortable for longer rides. And we like the, the 27.5 by 2.2 tires. It's a nearly slick design that rolls very quickly on the road. Part of what makes the Denago City Model 1 so great is its aluminum frame and fork. They offer crisp handling, and I really enjoyed this bike every time I dove into a turn. What this bike does in terms of position is a little different than some of the bikes we see. You're not as upright as you would be with a cruiser, but you're not as bent over as you would be with many city bikes. It's a comfortable balance between the two, and we find that it's such that riders can go for longer rides and still remain comfortable. On to our hill test. We use Hellhole, a one-third mile long, 12% grade hill that honestly, we don't expect every bike to fully make it up. This is designed to test just how good a bike is. Our first pass is throttle only, and our second pass is at PAS 5. All right, let's look at those results. On throttle only, this bike managed to get up the hill in just a minute and 36 seconds. In PAS 5, we cut that time to a minute and 16 seconds for an average speed north of 14 miles an hour. This is a very impressive bike. One of the things that occurred to me as I was riding it is that it would be a really terrific bike for bigger riders who would otherwise struggle on hills. Most any hill I hit on this thing, I expected to feel an immediate decrease in speed once the incline began, and many times I felt no detectable difference at the outset of a hill. This is a terrific climber. All in all, the City Model 1 by Denago is a terrific bike. Doubly so because this is a brand new company. If bikes like the City Model 1 are what Denago continues to produce, we'll be very impressed with this company. 
I loved the handling on this bike. The real star of the show, though, is the motor and the battery. It's got terrific range and power for days. Uh, if there was one thing I was gonna change on the bike, I'd love to see a different shifter, something more in the line of a, a trigger shifter, but it's a seven-speed drivetrain that'll get you up the hills and back down the other side. It's got terrific brakes, a big piece of feeling safe and confident on a bike is feeling like you're in control. And the brakes are a huge piece of that. All in all, the Denago City Model 1 is a terrific city bike. Anyone in the market for a price conscious city bike would do well to consider this one. If you like this review, please give us a like. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. Down in the description below, we will have links for current pricing as well as one to our detailed written review back on the Electric Bike Report site. For EBR, I'm Patrick Brady. Thanks for watching.